through the encouragement of Scripture, we might have hope. God is a God of hope. You know, in Romans chapter 5, so long ago here, but not so long when Paul was sitting down and writing this letter. Yeah. He talked about how we exult in our tribulations. Mm -hmm. Alice has it right there, so she's going to read it nice and loud. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, perseverance. and perseverance, proven mm -hmm. character, yeah. and proven character, hope. Hope. And, and hope does, does not, not disappoint. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. So there Absolutely. you have that was Romans chapter five, five from three to five. Yeah. yeah. So so you know that's the point. God wants us to be a people with hope. Go out and look in the world, and you will see hopeless people. Absolutely. I, I, many of them. I, I am astounded. We, we've been here trouble. in the UK for almost eight months. Mm -hmm. I am astounded when I see on the telly, the television, all of the adverts. The advertisements that are going on for gambling. Yes. Mm. And I know that's right. I mean, and they're talking about this is one of the problems in, in what they call high streets here in, in the UK. That more and more these shops are opening up that are gambling shops. Yes. Mm -hmm. What they call payday loan shops. Mm. I don't understand this. I mean, coming from America, I don't understand this. They have television advertisements mm. here from these payday loan companies or quick loan companies. Mm -hmm. With the interest rate, now, my friends in America, listen to what I'm telling you, because this is insane. Astounding. They they put the interest rates right on the screen, mm -hmm. and the interest rates are like 1,700%. I saw one yesterday, 2,700% is the annual percentage rate. How hopeless do you have to be? How desperate do you mm -hmm. have to be to go to one of these places to borrow money? That's incredible. Yes. There are people out there that are living in absolute who have jobs. Forget about the people who don't have jobs. Mm -hmm. And there are millions of people who have no jobs and no hope of finding jobs. That's right. That's right. They've given up all hope of finding jobs. Mm -hmm. We live in times that have, there, there's incredible hopelessness. Yes. So people that's go right. out. Why do you think so many people are doing? You, you may think otherwise, but that's the reason for all the drugs and pornography. Yes. They are losing themselves in something. Mm. And the alcohol is, yes. they're losing themselves. From, they're trying to get away from reality. Mm. Because they have no hope. And by the way, in Revelation chapter 9, that's what it says in the Greek. That men, the, the two things that men will not repent of in the last days mm. is drugs and pornography. That's right. Mm. They're losing themselves because of the hopelessness. Yes. But Jesus Christ, the light of the world, came into the world in the fullness of time to bring hope. The scriptures, listen, most of the people that you'll encounter today, they don't know about the scriptures. Mm -hmm. They don't know about the hope that's in the scriptures. And how will they know if you refuse to tell them? Exactly. You'll never know. And you'll only refuse to tell them because you're thinking about yourself mm -hmm. rather than thinking about them. What are they going to mm -hmm. think about me? So stop pleasing yourself, but please mm -hmm. that neighbor for his good, for his edification. Mm -hmm. And Paul is saying this. You know, sometimes we look on, we look, you know, you look at ink on paper and you fail to see the passion, the cry of Paul's heart mm. yes. as he pens these words and he's saying this. Yes. Because it is the love of God that is bursting forth from his life. Yes. Yeah. We, we can turn it into a cold, cold document that somebody's going to preach about. It's got to be, you've got to feel the heart of Paul. Yeah. Because I believe not only, I know that Paul had the mind of Christ, mm -hmm. but I believe he had the heart of the Father. Yeah. I believe that Peter, with all of his failings, had the heart of the Father. Because he's the one, one of the ones that wrote, he said that God, the Father, desires that none should perish. Yeah. There is not a Muslim, not a Buddhist, not a Hindu out there that God wants to see die for all eternity. That's yeah. right. Because right. he loves them. But you know what Paul wrote in, in here in Romans? He said, those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Call upon the name of Jesus. Yeah. Not on the name of Buddha. Not on the name of Muhammad. Not on the name of Rishis Nehushna. But those who call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. But how will they call on him if they've not heard? Absolutely. And how will they hear if somebody doesn't preach it? And how will proclaim it? How will they proclaim it if they're not sent? When you go out to wherever you're going today, God has sent you. Because your life is his. You belong to him. You are not your own.
And the only way they'll believe is if they hear it. They gotta hear it. They gotta hear it. They gotta hear it. They have to be confronted with that choice. Yes. They need to be encouraged, but they need to they need to be without that excuse. They need to hear the word of God, the gospel of God, the love of God through the cross of Jesus Christ. Because I'll just tell you what he wrote to the Corinthians. He said, The word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perished. Yeah. That's what being saved is the power of God mm -hmm. unto salvation. Go, don't, don't just tell them anything. Start telling people about the cross of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because that's where all the hope lies. Yeah. All the hope yeah. lies. Lead them to the foot of the cross. To the foot of the cross. God's love above the heavens. God's love deeper than the sea. Love always watching.